In this video, I'm going to show you how to add notes on tracks in Reaper. Now, the purpose of this video is to make it easier to see what's going on with our projects in Reaper. And we could do that by adding notes around the arrangement window. So, my first example, I'm recording some basic tracks. I have some drums, bass, and two guitars. And before I start recording, I want to label these tracks, not just with the track name, but also in here, in the arrangement window. And we could do that with empty items. So I put my cursor right over here, go up to the insert menu, and choose empty item, which puts an empty item right over here. Then we could double click it, or just hit the button up here, and that opens up where you can put notes for this item. I'm going to label it kick, but instead of typing it to do it quicker, I can go to the kick track and just double click and copy and paste that text. Then I'll go down over here and change this to stretch image or text. I should mention you could put images in this window if you want. We're just going to use text in this video. Choose this. Hit OK. And now, if we make the item bigger and smaller, it stretches the text. Let's make it about this size. And now we have a label or a note right in our track or the arrangement window. And to do this to all of our tracks, hold on Control on the PC, Command on the Mac to duplicate it. And let's put it on each one of these tracks. And then I'll double click the snare and paste that into here. Let's make this a little bigger, copy the overheads, make this a bit bigger, do the same with our room, our bass, our guitar left, and our guitar right. So now we have notes or labels in our tracks, making it easy to see what's going on. And again, of course, we can see the names on our tracks, but having it over here with the text nice and big, we could see it even better. So when we record our audio over here, it always line up with the empty items we created and the text or notes for it. And if we need to use it again, as we move through our song, just select them all, copy them and move them to the next section and just paste them there. So you have different sections of our window where we could paste these items so we always know what's on each track. Now in this next example, I've already recorded some parts and already have sections with them. But intro, verse, chorus, and intro. And to make it easier to see these sections, besides the markers, we could use empty items and notes again, just by creating a new track. Let's move it to the top, put our cursor right here, insert an empty item, make it the length of the section, double click it, we'll name it intro. And just like that, we have our section named, which we could duplicate, control on the PC, command on the Mac, just move it to here and resize it. Do the same with this one and this one. Now we'll call this verse and this one chorus. And now using those empty items or our text and notes, we can clearly see what section of the song we're working in. And we can even use colors to make it clearer. Let's make this one yellow, this one blue, the chorus. We'll make orange and the intro yellow again. So, again, it makes it very clear what section of the song we're working in. As you move through it and go back, we'll always know this section is the verse. And we can adjust the track height to whatever size we prefer. Make it really small, but we'll still see our text or notes, or we'll make it bigger if we want to see it clearer. So this next example, I've recorded a bunch of dialogue, 
or narration, and I want to label it so I can go through it later. I've already created a track up here for my notes. So all I have to do is click right here, go to the insert menu and choose empty item, size it the size I need, double click it, and just give it a label that tells me what I think of this section. Make sure I choose to stretch the image or text, hit OK, and I have that label right here that goes with this audio. We can do the same thing for every section we have. We just duplicate it over to here, rename this, something else, resize it based on what I need, do another one over here, and have this one labeled as well. And again, we can use a different color for each. Maybe this one could be yellow, while this one could be orange, and this one could be green. So now we have a different label over each section of our narration or dialogue, giving us notes or text based on how we feel about the performance. So we can go back to this later and remember what we thought of each section. So that's pretty much it. That's adding notes on tracks in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.